been a long life gamer. I moved to Canada in 2008. In 2009, I actually had an opportunity to join Other Ocean Interactive. I'm originally from Mexico City. I grew up there, and then once I turned 18, I moved to California. One of the things that I actually, that drew me into the industry is the fact that as I was growing up in Mexico, um, Video games was something that brought me closer to my cousins, for example, playing games, talk about the experiences that we had and all that. To me, video games have an actual, it's an actual form of expression and creativity. I actually started in the video game industry in California um, on, with a company called LucasArts. I started as an actual tester with them and uh, moved my way up to a lead tester. We ended up making a decision to move to Canada in 2008. We have a team of about 20 to 30 people here in Newfoundland, but we also have studios in PEI, Prince Edward Island, and in California. Between the studio here in Newfoundland and the PI studio, um, we are comprised of around between 70 and 100 people. Here in Other Ocean alone, we have a diverse team from different parts of the world. Uh, myself from Mexico City, for example, we've had people from Asia, we have people from Europe. Governments across the entire world need to start looking at the video game industry as something that is an incredibly viable way of creating a better economy. I am essentially a producer. What a producer does is they make sure that they, uh, the projects that they handle, that they produce, are being made with high quality, proper standards, and on budget. There's five main disciplines in the development process. So we have uh, programming, we have art, we have design, we have uh, quality assurance, and production. Production is unique in that um, it's the only discipline that actually interacts with all the other disciplines in order to bring them together and help communication among them. Project Winter it has been our most successful game to date, at least here in the Canadian studios. Uh, but also we've had entries in the VR world. For example, Giant Cop, a VR program that allows you to be a giant cop in a tiny city. In Canada, for example, we have tax breaks, you know, multiple different other programs, but definitely something, we, we do have support from the government here, which is great, you know, it, from immigration to actual funding, it's, uh, you know, it's great to see that the country cares. Growth in the video game industry is dynamic. Um, studios have to be uh, adaptable to the needs of the, the industry, essentially, and the needs of their, their um, provinces, provinces and countries. For Other Ocean, that's no different. Other Ocean has actually grown exponentially since we started in 2008. It's in its infancy. I think we started in a good path for the last 10 years again with Other Ocean, um, I think being one of the pioneers in this province. After us, you know, of course there's other studios that have opened up uh, or that have grown in the, in the time since, but it's definitely something that's still growing in this province. My name is Chris Navarro and I work with Other Ocean Interactive. We are advancing the industry and growing the game.